Hello Vlogmas, we're back. I'm pretty much back to my best now. I've started getting back into the running and I feel a lot better, so that's good. So I thought I'd do a quick little video. I've just charged my battery for 30 minutes, so it's gonna be a quick one today. I thought I'd talk about the importance of having a single season because I was looking back at my old videos and I remember I did a video about my love life last year and there were three people involved. My whole year revolved around three separate men and it made my life sound much more exciting than it actually was. And then I sat back at this year and I realised that this year there were really no men involved at all. I went on one date that I talked about and sorry my voice is still a bit, it's still a bit croaky but I went on one day and that was it through the whole year. And I was taking stock of the year and thinking, wow, this has been one of the few years in my life where I have literally had a single season. I wasn't really talking to anyone. I literally only went on that date because the man approached me. And I've literally had a single season. And I ironically feel the strongest I've ever felt in a while. And if I look back at the start of this year, I was concentrating on moving and I literally had no time to think about boys. For me, it was moving, getting my mental health where it needed to be. And I was moving. And for that first half of the year, I, I didn't really think about dating. It was all about me, all about what I wanted, a single season. And I do see, some people online creating content saying that thinking of yourself and your own needs is narcissism and it, it's generally not. I think people overuse the word narcissism now just for clickbait but for me it was all about doing what I needed to do and I needed to move and for me I couldn't do that and date at the same time. For me it was tunnel vision, I needed a single season to move. And then I did. I really drilled down on what I wanted. And for me, it was the move. And I am glad that I moved now. I was, like, if you've watched my videos before, I was a bit hesitant at first. I wasn't sure if I'd make the right call. But I think I have made the right call now. I am glad I moved. The only downside is I still feel this big fish, small pond man mentality. And I felt that for quite a while. I've always felt like I'm stunted being in the UK. And it's true what they say. It's the American dream is what it is for a reason. If you want to be successful, if you want to make money, you need to be in America. And I constantly feel this, that in the UK, I'm not going to flourish. There's just nothing going on in the UK at all. The more I think about the UK and... I watch what's going on and I see I see a lot of poverty in the UK and I know you get that everywhere around the world but at the moment I just feel that at the moment there's a lot of inequality in the UK there's a lot of poverty and there's a lot of unfairness in the UK and for me I just look at other areas in the world and I just want to go and I just want to flourish and I'm feeling this more now, this big fish, small pond, like I don't fit. I don't fit in the UK. I don't fit in the seaside town I'm in. Even walking around, people stare at me because I'm different. They can just tell that I'm different and I just walk past people and it's not from an arrogant place. It's just from a place that I have a growth mindset and walking around, I'm different. I'm different from the people that are just sat outside Weatherspoons on a Saturday afternoon. It's like, I have all these dreams that I want to do. And for me, my single season allowed me to realise that. It allowed me to realise that this channel is everything to me. And that's why I'm just pushing at it and I'm doing Vlogmas. This channel has, has given me so much. I generally can't put it into words and I hope by the time I put this up, my channel will have grown even further. The previous year was just a roller coaster of me dating people and trying to get them to like me. And now I feel 
I feel so strong and it's it is almost like that point where I don't need a man but it's like I know I want a man but I, I generally I don't need a man I I used to make videos because I felt lonely and inadequate and not good enough and now I'm sitting in a place where I do feel good enough for relationship and I know that I bring a lot to the table and now if people troll me I can just brush it off because I'm strong and I just generally don't care what people think about me. I had to be single and lonely to get to that point. I generally don't think you experience growth in the same way and as quickly as when you're in a relationship. It's it's sadly the only way you can grow and focus. A lot of the time you do have to be single, especially at that start and when you're at that building phase. You need to be selfish and you need to just just go for it basically. And that's what my single phase allowed me to do. And it is a little bit frustrating because it's like, I know I wanna live in a big city so I can meet people that I gel with and I'm on a wavelength. And being being stuck in a small seaside town, it just frustrates me so much because I want to be around creative people. And I feel now that I'm starting to possibly outgrow where I am and not all people, but I can feel some of the people around me are starting to resent me for that. And that's because I'm pushing forward and it's kicking up some certain feelings in them. And I can feel certain people where it's just, it's kicking up feelings in them. And I just know I need, I know I need to fly. I just want to normalize as well that being single is okay. Being single doesn't mean that you're ugly. It doesn't mean that you, you're you a bad person, that you need therapy. Being single is okay and it's normal. And it's okay to have fallow periods where you're not going on dates, where you are investing on yourself. You don't need to be on this constant merry-go-round of constantly going on dates, constantly trying to find someone. The way I think about it now, I generally think it will happen when I'm not looking. And I always used to hate when people used to say that to me, I used to say, oh, just fuck off. Why are you saying that empty platitude just to make me feel better? But the way I think about it now is I just think it's gonna happen when I'm not looking. I'm just not vibing with the people on the dating apps. And people, people tend to twist that and they twist that and saying, oh, you think, you know, your shit don't stink and you think you're just an amazing person. It, it's not that at all. It's this just inner knowing and feeling that I'm not vibing with the people. And at the end of the day, I want someone that can add to my life and I want someone that can make my life better. If I'm constantly in this mindset of they don't have a growth mindset too, that's ultimately gonna drag me down. And that's, that's why I do stay single. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could find someone on a dating app that I wasn't physically attracted to and I could have a relationship. But that that's not what I want. That's why I have the single season. So that's why I take a more holistic approach of telling women to, you know, be more confident, to not rely overly on a man, to have your own hobbies, etc. Because I generally think when you when you raise yourself up and you know you raise your self-esteem that will ultimately attract a man, not not this desperate chasing on dating apps for bum, you know, Bumble, etc. And even the aspect of being on a dating app is is that signalling and showing some people that you are a loser. That's kind of what I've been wrestling with recently. Is even the fact of being on a dating app does that show that I don't have the right friendship group? That I'm I'm not going out there. I'm not putting myself out there is being on a dating app a failure in itself? And in my you know darkest times, sometimes I feel that. I feel like, why am I on a dating app? Why, why does someone not approach me? Why does someone not approach me in the supermarket? Why does someone not approach me at work? And that's when I have to try and flip out of that mindset and think, you know, just, you know, you just got to do you, boo. That's the thing, in, in terms of society, I'm still, you know, the failure. 
the 30 something woman that's not married and doesn't have a baby but I'm generally the happiest I've ever been I've like reconnected with myself and you know I read now and I've, I've, I've got hobbies and I generally make content now from a happier place of creativity whereas before my earlier videos were purely just because I couldn't sit in the silence. I would generally make videos two or three years ago because I couldn't sit in the silence. The silence was overwhelming for me and I felt this sense that I couldn't escape. That's why I made content. Now when I make content it's intentional and it's because I am happier and it's because I want to inspire people. I'm not making content from a place of I can't sit in the silence of being single. And that's why I would just cry in a lot of my videos. It's because the being single would just overwhelm me so much. And I always feel that your emotions always leak out. You can't necessarily hide your emotions all, all the time. And I would try and keep it together, but my emotions would just seep out of my videos. And now I feel when I make content, it's more intentional and hopefully more inspiring to people because you have seen the change in me you have seen the change that I helped myself out that I did it all myself didn't rely on a man I didn't rely on a man I'll never rely on a man for money I moved myself this is mine this is my journey and yeah I'm, I'm hoping it's inspiring for you and if you are sitting there single just to realise that it's okay to have a single period. You don't need to have a boyfriend and you don't need to be constantly dating. If you feel that need that you need to sit back and just reconnect with yourself, that is okay. Like you're not a failure, it, it's fine. So especially at Christmas, I know it's worse at Christmas, but if you can just sit, oh my God, my voice. <coughs> this is so frustrating because I want to make videos, like I want to just pump these videos out. I want to do like 24 videos and just pump them out, but I am working still with my body. It's not quite back to where it was, but if you're going through a single season, like it's okay, I'm here with you. We've got Vlogmas and let's do it. <laughs>